Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we are taking a look at another Amazon bundle with Yoda's Starfighter and a blind box for series two, so stay tuned. Alrighty, so here we have Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. I have yet to find this at my targets. Um, it's pretty ridiculous. So I have been waiting for this to come back in stock on Amazon. Finally was able to get it. The card did come uh, bent, but I mean, it's no real big deal. I do keep the little cards uh, right here on the back because I think they're pretty fun. Um, and then the rest in the, this is considered the light armor class and you can get the damaged TIE fighter. And then they've got two chase vehicles with that Sabine's TIE Fighter going for like three to four hundred dollars right now. It's just crazy. Um, Micro Galaxy Squad really knows what they're doing with these. Um, this is part of Series 2. We get a look at the Starfighter and Yoda and R2-D2. Um, and overall looks pretty cool. It is super small. It's much smaller in person than I thought. I mean, I thought I was prepared for how small this was um, based on pictures, but like I still am not prepared for how little itty bitty it is so funny. Um, it does also come with a Series 2 blind box, which was one of the reasons that I did get it for Amazon, other than the fact that I couldn't find it whatsoever. But um, Series 2 with a nice orange backdrop from uh, Genosius. And um, we have, this is considered the Scout class, and there's three chases. If you watch my um, TIE Fighter one, I got Anakin. And then the most exclusive is Obi-Wan, and then the other chases are 2D2 with, with uh, Escape Pod. Bad Batch, uh, Walker, we have a Battle Droid on Stat Bike, um, Mandalorian, Clone, Princess Leia on Speeder. You can see all of them there. Um, and I struck again with another chase vehicle. This one is R2-D2 in Escape Pod. It is actually my least favorite because I just, um, well, I have Luke's X-Wing, so that comes with R2-D2, as well as Yoda's Jedi Starfighter comes with R2-D2. Uh, but it is an exclusive vehicle, if you will. Um, and it's, again, pretty detailed. You can see all of the um, little greeblings on the outside and the dirt. A little bit of um, gold striping there. I do like the top. It's like a little clear window. That's what they look out of. And then, of course, the little booster engines. To me, this, though, was a really weird one to put in the Scout class because it's not to scale. Um, and the other ships are in scale, to my understanding. Um, there is a peg for R2-D2 to stand on right there. But it was just kind of a weird one. It's the only one that doesn't really fit to me in the uh, Scout class. Um, you can display it open, trying it here on the side. You can display it open if you... Uh, pull it in enough. I don't know if I like it displayed open or not. I like that you can see R2-D2 in it, sort of, but it looks kind of weird displayed open. Nonetheless, though, that was the chase that I got. And now we'll go ahead and open Yoda's Jedi Starfighter. I am very excited about this one, and we're going to take a closer look. All right, here's Yoda's ship. I mean, this thing is just really small. I wish it does have some landing gear. I really wish it came with a stand. Um, because it's just so little. Um, trying to pull out this, uh, there we go. Yeah, so it's got three sections of landing gear, which is fine. It's relatively accurate, I believe. Um, it just looks kind of awkward because it's kind of like a circular pod. Um, but that's nice. They just fold up. They don't seem very sturdy, so definitely more on the fragile side. Um, yeah, it just looks really, really tiny. You can see where Yoda will go in and all of the green accenting looks nice. Um, the wings should open. Yeah, they open in various configurations. You can have them straight open like, like this, or you can have them slightly canted, which I personally like. I think that's a cool look for the, the Jedi Starfighters to look kind of like that. Um, it has some engines on the back. And overall, pretty nice. It's just so small. Um, but there are details inside of the wings. Hopefully you can see that. There we go. Yeah. Detailing inside the wings. That looks nice. We have the Republic symbol um, on the sides there, as well as another symbol. I'm assuming that's like special for Yoda's Starfighter there. Um, looks pretty cool. There is a spot for R2-D2. And then, of course, a spot for Yoda inside here. Um, just got to figure out how this thing opens. Oh, it's not hard. <laughs> it just opens from the top there. So that's pretty cool. I like that. It looks nice. Just like that. So let's go ahead and we'll open the characters here. Like I said, we just got an R2-D2, which is kind of a bummer. I wish 
Maybe he could have been like dirty, like dig up a swamp R2 or something like that. Um, and so far, r pretty much been the smallest character other than Grogu. There he is. And the pod one is just the same. He has a little dot of paint on the top there. But that's pretty much R2. Yoda is even smaller than R2-D2. That is, oh my gosh, and his hands move. Wow. His arms move. It's like I'm holding a grain of rice. Um, there you go. Wow, he's just tiny. I cannot get over how small he is. Good lord. But all the sculpting detail is there for sure. The little arms and the robes. It looks so good. I cannot believe that. Yeah, that's just nuts. He doesn't bend, but I mean, it doesn't matter. It looks like inside the cockpit here, there is a clip to hold Yoda just sitting upright. Um, let's see, I'm going to wiggle him in here. Oh my gosh, precious. He just fits in there so good. I love the thought that goes in behind getting the characters inside the ships. Like obviously since Yoda can't sit, he's just gonna flap around in this cockpit. So they put a little uh, like bar for him to sit on. That looks really nice. And you can't really, you can in the right light, see him from inside the cockpit. I'm not really sure if you'll be able to pick it up, but. Um, putting R2-D2 in now, and he just goes in the top, just like that. Wow, look at that. Two characters inside such a tiny ship. That's so funny. And I do know that on the underside here, if you press up, it'll help eject R2-D2. So see there, he popped up a little bit. So that's nice. I'm glad that they include that feature. But I mean, this is so tiny. This is for sure the smallest, like, um, individual, not a blind bag ship that we have thus far probably will be the smallest because uh, Yoda's starfighter is just teeny tiny but I love it I really do I like it a lot I'm excited to see what they do for more Jedi uh, starfighters I think that it's gotten quite the appeal people are really liking these um, they have like the chase Ahsoka and you know we already have an Obi-Wan I've heard some rumors that we're gonna get some other ships as well so um, we'll see but I really like them I think that they're super cute this guy looks so good just so tiny so be prepared. Like, in comparison, here is the Scout Class Blind Box. Um, so, like, ridiculous. It's This is very small. So, you, I don't know, you could argue that it's not worth the money. I don't know. I got it as the Blind Box Bundle, and I'm pretty happy with it. And I have been wanting this since it got announced and started to get released. And I'm so glad to have just found it. So, anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, and until next time, I will see you guys later.